What is up, USM? Hoping my mic is unmuted. And today, guys, it is the end of the week for some good old Thursday night Rainbow Six Siege. I am here on the host for an exciting game. The arena is relatively packed right now. We got the Smash team running a couple tourneys right now. Uh, we attempted to stream it earlier if you guys tuned into that. Very sorry about whatever happened. Just a whole bunch of technical issues. It seems every single day is something new. So we're working through it. Uh, but shout out to the Smash guys. They seem to be doing pretty well based on how hyped they are. But tonight, guys, it's about Rainbow Six. Last week, we saw a domination performance. And tonight, against LSU Shreveport, we're looking to do something pretty similar. Uh, lineup is going to be the exact same as last week. So you got you know, just stars. You got Mac, Reza, Drummond, the big three, dropping shotguns upstairs, Reza, TTV, by the way, uh, TTV in the Reza name. So check that out if, if he cares to expand upon that. So, and they're working on bands right now. Um, but guys, it's a pretty good Thursday. Uh, I'm super excited and uh, big news. Uh, Phobia John is out, so I will be in for the cast. So Aaron will lead the way. I will fall back and ask questions when needed. Other than that, it's going to be an Aaron show tonight. So give them some love when we get in. We've got GA, we got a chipper on the spectator, and seeming pretty confident in it. So uh, if there's anything you guys would like to see from the spectator mode, just let us know, and we'll try to get that communicated. But looking to be a pretty good show. And Phobia John, if you're listening, we miss you, man. Uh, come back from safe from Biloxi. We'll see you then. But guys, I have an interview right now. Uh, I'm here with the coach, the podcast host, the man, the Mac. He's here. The Mac. I like. I like that introduction, by the way. The Mac. I what think is I, up, coach? I'm doing wonderful. How are you, John? How was your day? How was your Thursday? It was decent. It was decent. Did you uh, go to class day? I did. I had I had my big day. It's my three class day. Ooh, my goodness. So, Ooh, class. I'll have is, classes, so you know. Oh. Uh, that's, that's that's pretty nice. It is pretty nice, nice honestly. Thursday. Nice but, way to spend but no, glad to see you on the casting desk tonight. Looking forward to hearing you and Aaron cast tonight. You know, expecting another great cast we got. But it's not about it, y'all. It's not about uh, y'all. I mean, it still is about y'all. Y'all yeah, are gonna do it. Yeah. Wonderful job tonight. Wonderful job tonight. I have been Look trying to catch up on my Rainbow Six. I'm level 25 now. Let's go. Not able to play ranked, but at least hey, I'm unranked is like ranked. some champs. So. Un unranked is the new ranked. For those who don't know, unranked is the new ranked. Yeah, I mean, for sure, it must represent something. It represents a path of growth. Oh yeah, path of growth, path of you know, it's a path of hardship <laughs> and pain. True. To never ever play Siege again, but you know, hey. Yes. What do I know? But I've been I do playing open up Steam <laughs> and press play on Rainbow Six, and I don't really know why. But <laughs> I still do. It's like going to Waterburger. You you get in the Waterburger line, you're like, do I really want Waterburger after even getting the line now? But you're stuck in line now, so you know, hey, you gotta eat the Waterburger. Yeah, true. You gotta go for it. You know, an exciting matchup coming up against our, you know, state lines, across state lines here, LSU Shreveport. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you'd like to tell us about the matchup coming up tonight? I mean, I don't know much about the team. All I can say is that um, we're going to get it all. Because as you saw last week, we put on a dominant performance, and we want to do the same thing tonight is to, you know, go out there, show what we've been working on, improve on what we, you know, been working on, and just show, you know, that, you know, we're the best. When it comes to new tech in Rainbow Six, mm -hmm. uh, new you know ways to use walls, new ways to use barriers. Mm -hmm. uh, really, the example I'm thinking of, and I'm not sure. I'm sure you've seen this because you play way more than I do. Yeah. I've seen uh, it's the new chant. It's the, I believe, defending operator that can create the barrier. Yeah, Azami. Yes, Azami. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they've been using her alongside a demoed wall, and it creates like a mirror, sort yeah. of, but yeah, without sort of. The, without the tinted window. Yeah, yeah. And. Do you guys incorporate these things as you see them, or is it more of something It's like, oh, this is a gimmick, you know, we need to stick to our tradition? We like to look at other pros and look at what other teams are doing and see if that will adapt to our play style because our play style is going to be way different than, say, your pro-level teams like TSM, Oxygen, teams like that or Dark Zero. Our play style, we don't want to change our play style based on their play style. We want to make sure we stay true to our play style. But if what they're doing can benefit us anyway, we'll give it a try and like practice our scrims or just get all together in one lobby and just see like, okay, if we were attacking this, would this be beneficial? Would it just be, you know, kind of let down? So like we like to incorporate new things, but I think it just comes, I think it just really depends on like if that's going to help us or not. If it's going to benefit our play style or is it really going to hinder us from what we need to do. And after you guys first win, 
uh, of the season, your mm -hmm. debut, coming out with a dominant performance. Mm -hmm. Do you think that made any waves across? Uh, is this is this Nace or any? Nace. This is Nace. Do you think it made any waves across across the realm of Nace? I definitely think so because our conference right now, we are the number one team, and I'm I am guaranteeing that every team is watching probably right now. I do not know who's in chat from the other schools. I do not know. But I guarantee you, people are going to be researching us, making sure that, like, do they have us down? But it doesn't matter how much research you're going to do because you never know what to expect from us. You could see something completely different that you didn't see last week or next week or weeks ahead of time. So, like, all the research they can do is they're not they're just not going to be prepared. But, you know, definitely some – we turn some heads. I definitely say we will. We are probably going to turn heads throughout the season. But, you know, until the other teams play us, they never know what to expect from us. And that's the best way to keep it. A nice, lovely mystery. Every oh, yeah. time the team thinks they have you, you mm -hmm. unleash a new tactic. Oh, for sure. And you're based on what we've seen, the, the bag you guys have <laughs> is very deep. Uh, mm -hmm. Perhaps infinite. We, we will have to see for sure. as the season goes along. Um, you know, but as the map bands come through, mm -hmm. as, uh, you know, there was a little bit of, of unsurety uh, mm -hmm. in whether the game would even be played today. <laughs> um, is this something that has happened often or is this something that kind of throws you off the game? Like throws you, like not not throws you off because mm -hmm. of course you have an iron will, like yeah, in yeah. game, but yeah. it just kind of annoys you in a sense. Like, <laughs> it not, you know, it's just like, wow, these guys are, well, why aren't they going forward with this? You know? I mean, for sure. I mean, like they may be talking, they may just be like trying to gather around, figure out what we need to do. But I always tell my team to always be prepared. You never know what to expect. And I know people, for those who see the map bands, to my right, I think, yeah, or to my left, I don't know how they have it set up on the stream, but to my left or right, it doesn't matter. But it's just that, you know, we always want to be prepared for whatever may come our way. Because, like I said, these map bands tonight, I mean, I hope we look, I'm looking forward to it, especially our map too, Chalet. And, you know, we've been really working hard on that map, seeing what we need to work on. You know, I'm looking forward to it. And, you know, just looking forward to, you know, another game and another win for us. And last, my last question for you, really mm -hmm. just a general game question. Do yeah, you yeah. have a favorite map in Rainbow Six? Ah, uh, man. I mean, I would say I'm always got to say either Skyscraper or Villa because those maps, you know, I feel like with our with my play style, I like those maps a little bit better because it can be attacker side or defender side. So it's a 50-50 map. I like 50-50 maps. I don't like maps as more one side than it is favor towards another side. So like those two maps right now, but if I pick just one, I may have to say Villa. I, I love me some Villa. So if you see us on Villa, just know it's my playhouse. I love me some Villa. You're going to be in the zone on that one. Oh, for sure, for sure. The map up and down. It, it definitely. But I have to go get ready for a match. Thank you for having me on the yes. pre-show. As always, I look uh, forward to seeing you on, on the desk. And you know, shout out Hey Dino, our production manager, for all the hard work he's going to put into tonight's stream. Looking forward to it. Yes. And as he heads off, I'd also like to uh, shout out to our secondary stream manager tonight. We got Cat USM Cat Crisis on, uh, and she's going to be helping out along on the stream. Uh, previously, Hedino was going to be running the spectator mode. We actually got some clutch help, uh, but we're going. Well, he is going. I don't know anything about the stream. Uh, he is going to teach, and hopefully one day Hedino might be able to take a break, and someone else can run the stream. But it's we're, we'll never really be sure. But definitely huge shout out to the production people who came out tonight. We really appreciate everything you guys do. Uh, I could not be in front of this camera unless I was crazy without them. So uh, we definitely appreciate everything to do. Shout out to USM Aaron. Going to be carrying the cast tonight. And guys, honestly, that's about it for me. Uh, it's looking to be an exciting match. Guys, USM versus LSU Shreveport. Lots to look forward to. <laughs> and we will be getting back to you in just a few minutes uh, at the casting table. So I will see you guys in a few short moments. So, Jonos out.
Are we? Okay. All right, guys. What is up? I am back here with USM Aaron. Hello, guys. The man. What can I say? The knowledge of games. Well, just this one. Just this one. <laughs> just but that's one. really, that's saying a lot. Well. This game equals lots of mini games, like lots of smaller ones, you know? Valorant's really easy to get a hold of. I will say that. You think so? Yeah. Like, I, like I can just process it really well, so. I guess I guess you're right. I guess you knowledge of maps like after you understand a map like Rainbow Six Siege, yeah, like you can't help but find every other map easy. They're all one dimensional. <laughs> Rainbow Six is usually like it's, it's kind of like three to four yeah, maps yeah. in one. Yeah, it's fun though. It's it is fun. really fun. It's very fun. And you know you have to wonder what the architects were thinking when they were designing these buildings in Rainbow Six. I mean, why why is there concrete being shared with wood on the same wall? I don't think. They took the right classes in college. Oh, yeah, yeah some, yes. something happened. Something definitely was not where it was supposed to be. Yes. <laughs> I think most architects, if they do play the game at all, probably throw up in their mouth when they see the layout <laughs> of some of these houses. <laughs> just like, this is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Please get it away from me. Maybe that's why I'm so bad at the game. Maybe if, yes. I, maybe if I just threw away logic and understood yes. that this is normal, like if we just had a random wooden wall in, our, in the eSports arena, maybe that would make that. sense. I've been yeah. saying that. I mean, it just. I makes, think we should just put one behind us. I think just a wooden plank, you know. And then like have a single spread of concrete across the center of it. Yes. Because that's what Siege does to you. It makes you want. To, never mind. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but lots to look forward to. Yeah, um, absolutely. They're about to set up the server here and call in all the players. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, yes. It's going to be a very fun night. So hopefully this will get started pretty soon. Uh, if you guys missed yesterday, we had a pretty significant delay on the League of Legends stream. It was about 34 minutes. Again. Uh, and unluckily for us, me and USM <coughs> Kingsley had to actually talk for 34 minutes. <laughs> that, was, that was an exercise for sure. We can sure. do that, though. We got that. That's easy. I mean, yeah. yeah. If, they, if they delay it for 34 minutes, like, I can do it. It's like, do I want to? Yeah, know? I really don't want them to delay yeah. it 34 minutes. I really want to get into this match. I think we're going to see a really good match tonight. I'm uh, kind of wanting a 2-0 and then go home, you know? Yeah. Something real quick, simple. <laughs> yeah. Straight to the point. Yeah, you know? just, uh, you know, they Maybe, sweep them. Yeah. Yeah, just something like that. You can't really can't really complain with that I mean, it's, it's USM R6, so it would probably end up happening anyway. And, you know, <laughs> you probably play with these guys a good little bit. Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah. Do you have a favorite player of, of the five, of the five in the starting lineup? It would be wrong for me not to say Mac. Ah. Because he's taking me under his wing. Coach Creds. Coach Creds. I and gotta say it, though. Reza. Ah, Reza. okay. Yeah, for sure. For sure. He's just... There's a lot to look at in Reza. Yeah. He, he is... Handsome. Oh, yeah. Extremely Barely. good at the game. Extremely good at the game. I mean, <laughs> scary good at the game. Honestly, might be looking at our future pro right here. I, in the building. Yeah. In we the building. Well, might. Well, I mean, we, we have prospects. USM has prospects. This is true. We do. And as a team, these guys play incredibly together. Yes. Uh, I will say that Mac has always advocated for you since your arrival here. Let's go. Uh, as, as both a player and a caster production he likes member. Me. <laughs> he I just said you knew a lot, and yeah. based on last stream, he was <laughs> right. He was so scarily right. It was yeah. crazy. Well, you know, you know a lot. I mean, so I trust. I trust his judgment. Two thousand hours in a game, you kind of learn a thing or two. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. I'm not <laughs> proud of that number, guys. I'm not. Okay, I'm just not. <laughs> yes, not not a bragging point. Not, not something he would mention at the parties, uh, but something he I would actually, mention in here. I actually walk up to every party. I'm like two thousand hours in siege. You gonna let me in? Uh, and normally eyes, probably. Yeah. Normally, yeah, they let me in pretty yeah, quickly. Like, oh, excuse me, sir. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, like, what, what is Rainbow Six Siege? <laughs> True. True. It, you know, it's it's not the most well known. No, but it's very fun. I it think is. That's, that's that's important. It's fun until you get good at it, and then you're just like, please end my suffering. True. <laughs> yeah. Do you but, find it hard to play solo queue? Or, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I don't understand how Nick, fake plot Nick, does that every single day. Every time I walk into this man's dorm room, he is in a ranked match by himself. Oh, I'm guilty of that on a couple times. I can't, I can't do it's it. Really it's really hard, though. It gets boring when you're playing by yourself. I just feel like this game is such a team-based game. It's just really boring when you're not like talking to other people while you're playing. At my rank, it's all just toxicity. Yeah. And I imagine up there, it's still there. It, it, it's, of course there's toxicity. Yeah. <laughs> they, they've done so many measures to prevent it, yet it always finds its way back in some way. Just like cheaters, you know? Yeah. Battle Eye is so great. Yes, Battle Eye, you really have done your job yes. on so many occasions. I haven't been, you know, quick scoped by a glass, 360 no scoped by him, jumping off the wing of the plane. It's okay. 
we, we don't talk about these times. Uh, we only talk about the good times. We talk about the time that I used Pulse and actually got a kill. Hey, so yes, sir. We take those. You know, we take them you for know, using a shotgun. You know what else good times we talk about? National champion R6 oh, players. What a transition. National Shout champions. Out. You know, and I just, I'm so proud of them. I wasn't even here for it. I'm so yeah. proud of them. You know, something that surprises me is that not a lot of people in the university know that, we're, that, that we are a national championship team. Ridiculous. Get educated. Yes. Been saying it. And USM Barstool did shout us out, but it seems like not a lot of people still saw it, and I'm hoping that one day maybe we'll get proper recognition. Yeah, this year, actually, when we're national champ two times, back yes. to back, we'll finally get the recognition. Maybe it's because we were too small. That's exactly Before what Before you got here, it was really... R6 and me and Haydino. Yeah. That's but y'all kind of carried a little bit. Y'all kind of nuts. Well, y'all, y'all we didn't know anything about the game. Uh, it, we actually did a disservice to the game the way we were <laughs> casting. Our, my version of casting it was, oh, he's going up the stairs. Oh, oh, he's holding an angle. He, they're waiting. Oh, and he shoots him. Oh, oh. <laughs> that, was, that was my version. No rotation. No rotation. No use of, of you know, the understanding the map. Yeah. Oh, yeah, game language non-existent. It yeah. still is pretty much. No, you got that. Uh, I think, I think... I will you're learn it from cast. you. I'm okay. going to learn it from you. Okay. This is, I got you. You're going to teach me. I'm teaching you, and you're teaching me how to talk for 34 minutes straight. Yes. Because yes. we are still not in this game for some reason. Yes. <laughs> still waiting. <laughs> uh, queue is, or the lobby's been open for about yeah. six minutes. I, I don't know what's going on with it. And it's been... looks like something is going to happen eventually. Hopefully. Oh, Hopefully. just kidding. It actually is going to start right now. They have begun the match. Yes, let's couldn't go. Have, couldn't have asked for a better timing there. All right. Here on Oregon, 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 Oregon. Very fun map. I, I enjoy Oregon as a map. I think it's one of the more balanced maps, uh, especially this season. I just think it's been, it's been very, very balanced. You know? Do you have sure. a favorite side when you're going in? Do you prefer attack or defense? Defense is just better. It's just better because you have so much utility now. Like defense is just all you just have utility, and then attack has to burn through all of it. Thatcher van. I mean, not surprising. Not yes. surprising. It's better than the Sophia Vigil van that we saw last week. Uh, <laughs> that one was very out of blue. Uh, I believe that USM is blue team, so I'm, I'm expecting like a Flores here. I'm expecting a Flores. I know that they don't like playing against the utility uh, denial, especially while they're on attack. They don't really, they don't really yes. want to use that to their advantage for some reason. But it's okay. There's and the Flores. Go ahead and call it. Yes, there it is. And then obviously their Valkyrie van, which is totally understandable. Nobody wants to run IQ the whole game. It's very annoying. <laughs> Especially since she lost her nades a few seasons back. R.I.P. R.I.P. Miss the good times. The good old days. <laughs> the good old days when there weren't as many operators as there are now. <laughs> <laughs> There's not 54 operators in the game, yes. All right, and Valk Van, there it yes, is. Yes, the Valk right. Van. So what are, I'm not sure what I'm going to be expecting here from uh, LSUS. Yes, LSUS. Yes. Maybe, maybe like a Mira? I could be a Mira Van. Probably something not Mira, though. I'm your band. Oh, well, wow. there you go. A perfect call. <laughs> He's 100, 100% on the bands this game. You know, I mean, it makes that's, sense. That's really good, yeah. I do think it makes a lot of sense. Mirror's, a, Mirror's got a lot of tech now. Yeah, and then, and then on top of that, like downstairs is just so, she's so influential, you know? And it looks like we are going to be starting upstairs, though, here on the LSUS defense. We already got USM with our full lineup. They're ready. They're ready. I, I don't know about you, but just being in this room, I can just feel their energy. Yeah, I think I, I just it. heard the lock click. Yeah, they're in. They're in there. All right, we're going to be starting upstairs. We got a Malusi, Bandit, Thorn, Thunderbird, and Cap Can. Looks like we're going to be playing a little bit of a deniers here, uh, just entry deniers. Uh, we got Malusi, obviously the Wub Wubs, uh, just alerting everybody, slowing everybody down. It's kind of like a better barbed wire. Uh, we got Thorn Traps. Thorn Traps, they, they're not good for killing, but they will definitely let you know where people are. <laughs> And then Capcan, I mean, we all know Capcan. Oh, yeah. We all know Capcan. He is just, now that he can stack his Capcan traps, he has just been played so very often. Uh, the Bandit makes sense. They probably looked at the VODs. They know that we run constant hard breachers here. Uh, and so I, I think this is a really good setup here by LSUS. And it's really good. Right. Here we go. Starting the action phase up. We're, we're there. We're getting in there. We got Reza on the Ayana. I've been seeing Reza playing the Ayana a lot here. And I see him pushing a lot with Mozik. Mainly they push small tower. Looks, looks like what they're going to be doing again here. Uh, they played this map last week. They absolutely dominated performance on it. Guy got playing on big window. Going to be pushing the small tower area. This is all really basic stuff coming in from USM R6. I'm not very surprised. We got to do some drone work, all that fun stuff. So 
John, how do you feel about our chances of winning this match today? Well, I I mean, based on what you've said, Oregon is one of Rem is one of our team's best maps. Yes, it is. Uh, we saw a really good performance, and I can only imagine that they played it several times during practice. Yes, yes, uh, absolutely. And just the methodical. Oh, oh Reza wow. with the absolutely insane shot on the T bird rotating off white stairs into kids. Absolutely amazing shot there from Reza. Gonna clear off the guy White Stairs. That's gonna be very big for Mozik to get in. Oh, but fake Platnik gonna be taken down. Nice trade from Drummond. Not sure where that happened. Probably Z Hall. Mozik gonna be pushing up the White Stairs. Knows that it's clear, but the Wub Wub's gonna let him know. Malusi gonna be holding it off the bomb angle. Oh, oh with the nade below nice. from Drummond. Drummond. Nade. Absolutely insane double kill there from Drummond. Great job. You can see the Z team's really putting in the work here. Uh, especially when it comes to the nades below, and even shooting like he just did there. Uh, I mean, you just you can just really tell that this is going to be a very dominant round here. Reza going to be in with his Ionic clone, just trying to get information. Uh, they know that one is going to be in kids based off the Mosaic, and one's top 10 stairs, which means they have all white ready. Going to be holding it down. Mag oh, Mosaic going to be taken out by the Capcan. Unfortunate, unfortunate shots there. It's okay, though. And there goes the refract from Drummond on a triple. Might get a 4K here. Might get a 4K, nice nade coming out. Matt Gunner then go down for the plant on the pool table. Drummond, looking for the 4K, really wants it. He wants it really badly. Might be Cold War right there, We're holding the angle. Yes, it's post plant position. All they have to do is sit still in sight. They know where the player is located. Haven't heard a call for the, the, uh, the rotate yet. Looks like they're still not gonna be hearing him rotate away. Going for C4 below, gonna miss it. Unfortunate, gonna come back. Drummond sees the legs. Drummond on the oh, 4K first round, absolutely insanely. Insane play. And a perfect there. use of those shield yes. windows. Absolutely. And absolutely. That was an amazing play there by Drummond. Amazing Drummond. He really came up, here to show He picked up. up a kill on almost every gun he had. He picked up a nade kill <laughs> and several kills on his rifle. All he needed yeah, was I mean, a pistol. Absolutely insane there from Drummond. Really the sledge we all need in our lives. <laughs> True. <laughs> And right. Drummond really picking up the picking up the, the reins there and yes, saying, I'll absolutely. do it myself. <laughs> it's all Thanos right in there. <laughs> Looks like we're going to have another upstairs hold. Looks like we're going to bring the same kind of setup here from LSUS, but we're going to be changing it up a little bit. We're going to bring a smoke. We're going to bring a mute. I think, that's a great, I think that's a great change, you know. They had a lot of drone work coming in. I think the mute change was very good. And then smoke just to stop that push and have that extra deployable shield. I think this is a really good setup here from LSUS. Mozik switching to the Nog. We're going to see a Reza Mozik push up the white stairs here. Guaranteed, because they're not bringing the Malusi, that's what we're going to see. 100%. And when you're playing Mute, do you is it usual tactic to try to prevent drones from coming into objective or to hit your jammer on soft walls or hard walls? So since, we're, since they're bringing the Bandit, Mute is good for information denial from the drones. And then the, the obviously, you know, Bandit, he's just going to get on the walls anyway. All right, we're getting right back into an action phase. Absolutely dominant performance by uh, USM R6 in the first round, so I'm excited to see him do it again. Reza gonna be joining the small tower side. Small tower side, like I said, Mozik and Reza, I mean, they just, they do this every time, and they're dominant on it. Mac, we didn't see that, buddy, it's okay. <laughs> we didn't see that, it's okay. Uh, we got Nick, ooh, the shield. We might be seeing some frags here off the trophy, because I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not gonna lie to you. That's a really good shield placement. The Gon 6, though. Gon 6, new, a new addition to the game. Really, really good for clearing out stuff like that, though. I mean, I think it's been very influential. Ooh, I think you missed one of the bandit charges that was needed. Gonna know this with Mute playing up top white stairs. Reza not gonna really worry about it too much. He's just gonna play the bane window. And Mozik's gonna be having to... Ooh, but Mute taking lots of damage on the Mozik. I think he tried to nade him. They're just not bringing the, the denial that they need on these nades. Both with the, uh, Mute and Capcan are both extremely weak now in sight from the nades below. Mozik gonna be holding the top white stairs. Was able to make him rotate off. All the smoke's oh. dead. Excellent shot there. You take out the Mute Jammer. Holding a very common angle here. Might catch the cap can. Oh, the cap can. The cap can gets caught too. Mozik on double. Absolutely nice shots there from Mozik. Play pack there. Gonna be taking one, but nice oh, shots nice from shot. the smoke. Excellent job, but smoke gonna get refragged. Or, my bad. Yeah, the mute. My bad. Sorry about that. All right. That was some great picks there. That really was. set the pace. Yes. The no, smoke is down. I don't think they know yet. I think the. I don't think it's known that the mute is down just, just right yet. The Man, they're gonna be going trying to go for a res. Reza gonna get the call to push in, pushing in now. My kid picked up two here. The T-Bird trap running away. Saw the, saw the mute. Oh, oh but the cap can. Nice through. job, Drummond. Doesn't know what the last one is. He's an attic. He's gonna be 
holding it back, holding Reza might get a shot here, nice shot from Reza, we just gotta get in get a plant here, Matt gonna be going into the window again, gonna be planting on pool table just like last time, Reza not in the best spot to, to cover this, Matt gonna get it down anyway though, Bandit gonna be playing on the kids rotate hole, Bandit is in a very winnable position here, Reza and Matt might miss their shots, Reza gonna be letting himself be known. Pushing in through kids, gonna be pushing, looking for looking for a Mac pick. Might have to deal with Reza first though. That would be very scary here for the bandit if he had to deal with Reza. Nobody could do it. Reza gonna get the kill in probably about 30 seconds. Oh, missing the shots, going up white stairs. Oh, <laughs> oh, Trying not to team kill Mac. Had to, had to take his time with the shots a little bit. Mac a little unaware of what's going on around him, but it's okay. He was holding the bomb. And that was some nice holding of the <laughs> shots by Reza. You yes. can see the trigger control coming through clutch right Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Another another really good performance. I just think that USM there, they need to slow down a little bit. I feel like once once the call came through, hey, the, the mute is down, cap, uh, Bandit's going for the res. Everybody tried to push in at once. The cap can threw him off, the thorn, everything like that. It really just it really dominated their pace. It, it really set their pace back. I agree, and it was almost disaster there going for yes. all that the Bandit did pick up a double. Absolutely. And it could have spelled disaster had he gotten in a more ideal position. Absolutely. Luckily, Mac was in the area yes. to set the diffuser. Absolutely. Now we're going to be having a downstairs hold. Obviously, the mirror being banned, so we're not going to see that being played today. Going to be having the same kind of setup, though. They're not going to be holding the elbow. Let's see if we get something that we uh, that we saw in last week's match where there were no head hold. Oh, they are going to be holding elbow. My apologies for that miscommunication. I forgot the word for a second. <laughs> all good, all good. Uh, so the only problem with having this hold here is that they're not bringing anything except for Naruni. You need a Jaeger, you need a Wamai if you're gonna make this hold on the elbow. You cannot extend this, especially since all of your extension comes from that deployable shield that is so easy to get rid of. So I don't really know how we're gonna see this like help LSUS, but I guess we're gonna get into it. And take I suppose we will find out how USM plans to handle this and how LSU Shreveport Yes. Plans to win. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Looks like we're going to be seeing Mozik back on the Zofia. You see him switching a lot from those to the uh, knock. Uh, and I just think that's his, his comfort picks. I think he's comfortable there. And I think that's good. And he plays a really good knock the way he's able to. Oh, yes. And the way he's able to get on to the point yes. and hold these nice angles relatively in silence. Yes, absolutely. Mozik, he's going to be roam clearing a little bit here on the Zofia. I kind of like the play made here drumming i mean not drumming i'm so sorry about that uh nick gonna be holding from the white man just watching for the guy who rotate from main stairs into z hall but we already have a lot of map control here from usm uh this is very early into the round only a minute in and we already have this much map control it's very surprising that we're not seeing a better roam game matt gonna be leaving the spawn a little late uh they didn't even reinforce hatches it doesn't yeah. seem Whew. I'm gonna go ahead and lsus we got to get that together my guys we got to get that together um I just, I think, I think now we're just gonna see USM collapse on the site. We have everybody downstairs. Nobody, nobody's really getting held that well. We have a lion. Nick gonna be dropping into pillbox. We're gonna have two going down the main stairs. The wub wub. Nick gonna be taken out though by Aruni, taking him down to 50 HP. Nice shot there from the Aruni. On to fake plot. Nick just not seeming like it's his match today. It's okay. A minute 27 left in the round. Gonna have to make some moves here soon. Absolutely. Trying to clear out what they can. Oh, yes, the burn. The Rooney gate. Yes, the burn. Uh, might see him. What? No. And back up Drummond with a nice kill. Drummond really putting the team on his back for this match. Insane plays here. Going to be stunning him. Mozik going to be taking a push, probably. Take a little bit of initiative. We got Reza and Mozik. You know. Oh, Mozik going to be getting the kill on the guy. Pillar. Mag going to be getting oh. taken down. Mozik going to be taken down. We got a guy in elbow. It's going to be a 2v2 but here. It's Drummond and Reza. Oh. Reza, excellent shots there. Not sure where the last player is. Drummond needs to go in for a plant now. Ooh, oh. Drummond not going to be here in the cap can call in time. Got to go for the plants. All injured. Reza has to do is hold the cross. And we know Reza. He's an excellent player. We're going to see him do this very well. Smokes are coming out. He's going to have to be careful. These are, excellent, these are excellent angles being played by the USM squad, especially in a post-plant position. I don't see... I don't see smoke winning this. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Even with both players at low HP, the smoke at 100 HP still, I don't see him taking this win. Reza might be seeing the head. Oh, but nice shot onto Reza. Drummond in a 1v1 scenario. 20 seconds left on the bomb. Gonna be pushing through the rotate hole. Don't wanna say it too loud though. Oh, does Drummond know? Does Drummond know? Drummond's gonna be hearing it. 10 seconds left. Not gonna be enough time for the defuse. He has the grenade. 
Gonna be taking the swing. May not see the smoke on main stairs. Oh, oh, the smoke takes up, but not enough time on the post plan. Ten. Excellent triple kill there by the smoke, just not enough time. And a nice hold there by USM, forcing the smoke to come to them again. Uh, and just kind of hiding as long as he could. And like you said, I guess once that 10 second barrier yeah. passes, you can no longer defuse. Yeah. It's an eight second defuse time, but I mean, uh, you're going up the main stairs, you're not gonna get back there in two seconds true. and get the kill. There's just no way. Nice hold by USM. Yeah, they just gotta win their gunfights. Yeah. Don't win your ones. Yeah, and, and I really did think Rizzo was gonna win. Looks like he just got the lucky shot and yeah. able to fire as many rounds as he did out of yeah. the out of the Mac or the SMG11. SMG11. Yes. I, was I always call it the Mac 10. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna be going back upstairs here. Gonna be bringing a Goyo instead and Ella. This is this is a really different this is a really different team change that I was not expecting by LSUS. Uh, the Ella, I mean, influential as she may be, I just think that bringing the smoke that last round was very very well handled and it's very good time get very good to waste time you know and I just don't see the other doing the same thing they didn't bring the shotgun so they had to use one of their nitro cells on a rotate hole oh gotta love that some good old unranked strategy there and with shotguns is it useful to bring a shotgun with an operator that has an SMG as a backup yes absolutely John great question okay okay I, I usually yes. I use a lot of smoke and mute and yeah. I usually will play with shotgun yes it is uh, I am I'm at that rank where we don't make rotate holes. <laughs> uh, we only use shotguns to kill. Yeah. Uh, and I quickly found out shotguns kind of suck they're at, useful, at range. But they're useful for everything else. Yes. In terms of wall breaking, yes, uh, patch destroying, definitely useful. So that's why we're going to be seeing that same kind of push here that we saw last time from the SMR6. Oh, oh the Ella going to be missing. Oh. Oh, Mosik not going to be able to take it. Ella going to be walking right there with like 75 HP. That's a lot of HP down for the Ella. Nick really looking for them cap cans now. Very <laughs> scared of them <laughs> after that first round play. Matt gonna be grabbing the wall. Excellent use of the new EMP gadget there that from USM. Very, very useful. Uh, even though we lost Mosik on the knock, the knock, uh, I still think we might see a USM round here. Reza gonna be rotating away from small tower side. I think they're gonna be trying to do a full main stairs type push, main stairs. Uh, master bedroom may not see the Goyo. Oh. Ooh, Drummond almost getting taken out there. Gonna be going for the nade though. Doesn't seem like the Goyo hurt it. Oh, the nade just a little too far. Goyo in a very excellent position here, especially behind that deployable shield. Oh, but the nade here might catch him off guard. Gonna be backing up. Drummond doesn't know that's the second nade wasted from Drummond, but the oh. kill still comes out anyway. Drummond, absolutely nice shots there. Just gonna be trying to go for the random wall bang, trying to stop the refrag from happening. We're gonna have three players from USM. Gonna be all coming into sight all at once now. Matt going down for the plant on the bedroom wrestle with an excellent kill. Matt, one second left on the diffuser. Nice job, Nick. Gonna be grabbing one as well. That's the yellow down. They, they're not sure exactly where these last two players are. We don't seem to have a lot of drones in sight. However, ooh, there goes Drummond. We, we trust Drummond. We trust Drummond. And Drummond, and Drummond, we, Drummond trust. we trust. <laughs> Let's go. And an excellent round from USMR6. <laughs> and we just we just synced our minds right there. Uh, that was round. a great round. That was a great round. Drummond really popping off this match. You can tell he got warmed up nice and ready whenever these delays happen. He was not going to let that slow him down. And 4-0. So does next round take this? Uh, no, it's gonna be first to seven oh, and that's right, that's six right. rounds. I'm used to unranked. Gets switch. I, yes. I'm brainwashed. No, you're okay. You're okay. Six first rounds. First to seven. All right. Yeah. So USM gonna be taking the attack now. USM. They, I mean, they're, they're still on attack. Their their attacks have been very strong, especially this season. Uh, yes. We're seeing a lot of a lot of great picks. We're gonna be going back downstairs here for LSUS. Uh, might be seeing a same sort of setup again. Maybe this time we might bring a Jaeger. There he is. Okay, I couldn't see him. That's a great pick there from LSU as way to adapt to the enemy team. Yeah, we have seen a lot of object, a lot of projectiles being used, yes, yes. Uh, and the Jaeger will be invaluable, especially like you're saying, holding the elbow, uh, where you said they needed a Jaeger, they need a yes. Wamai, they need someone here. Someone. Uh, Not just like, their Rooney. Looks like they might be listening in. Hey, <laughs> nice to see you guys tonight. <laughs> True. We take all the viewers we can get, enemy or Ooh, not. <laughs> Mozik gonna be coming in on the Ying. This is a weird little switch over for Mozik. I haven't seen him on the Ying yet. Been seeing a lot of the knock though. But I think the Ying is going to be very influential, especially for a post-plant scenario or just getting the bomb down. I think we might be seeing some really good strategy here from USM as they're going into this objective play. We're going to we're having the same type of push again from USM. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. We've that's, been saying that's that. That's true. Mosey oh, going to be getting a great kill on the Ying. I will never doubt you ever again. I am yeah. so sorry, young Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Reza gonna be droning him in. Mosek just excellent gun skill, honestly. 
Gonna be pushing all the way in. It looks like Rome has already been cleared out. It looks like the last four players of LSUS is downstairs on the site. I just think they need to adapt a little bit more, grab one more player upstairs so we have potential for a refrag, but we're not gonna be seeing that, especially not in this round. Uh, I think we're gonna get a drone here shortly saying, hey, this is all clear. Let's start getting a little bit on the OBJ. Nick, gonna be trying to, never mind. I thought he was gonna try to take the gunfight. Oh, oh, well, oh maybe maybe not. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, walk, don't, don't walk into the cap can, Nick. You know it's there. You know it's there. And there's a Thorn, Jaeger, and cap can both going to be holding that, uh, holding that angle onto the main stairs, onto Nick. Using the EMP to burn the Thorn Trap. Excellent place there by Nick. Great way to use utility. Taking off the Thorn Trap with a quick little peek. We got three players on main stairs. Not really sure if I like the play. We have one guy going on freezer side. No, it looks like we're going to have two. I might have lied to you guys. I'm so sorry. We have two players going freezer. No freezer hole just yet. However, we have a weird hole open by Mac onto the freezer wall, which gives Jaeger pretty much free oh. player. Oh, Jaeger gonna be taking a little bit of damage there, getting into the gunfight with Mac. Mac gonna be running away as fast as possible. Nick gonna be able to finish him out though. Excellent, excellent gunplay by Nick himself right there. Oh, oh. I get a kick on the cap can here. Nice angle, I nice pixel. Oh, he sees the leg. Oh, oh, Nick with an excellent shot. That's two on the board for him this round. Here goes Moser. Oh, oh, we got a TK. Oh, Drummond gonna be able to take him out though. And Drummond picking up kills, no matter the team. King holding and down. Mosley finishing it off with wow. the uh, Ying. Machine gun right there. <laughs> it looks like we just had a little bit of a miscommunication there. <laughs> Drummond apologizing to his teammate right now. <laughs> he, uh, he's you know, padding his stats <laughs> by whatever means necessary. Yes, we don't want Nick to get too big of an ego just yet. <laughs> yes, putting him down a few notches, letting him know Drummond is still king here. <laughs> it's like we might be seeing a little bit of a change up here by the USM squad. This is their last attacking round. We might be seeing a 6-0 here on the attack. That would be very nice here, but as you mentioned earlier, the pulse is going to be getting played. We might be able to, you might be able to see a little C4 from below. A little bit of pulse action. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think this is a great play here by the Husser. I just think that pulse with the information being able to tell everybody if they're on the main stairs or not is going to be very good. We're going to be having a new site that we haven't seen yet in this series. We're going to be seeing dining meet. I mean, not meeting, my bad. Dining kitchen. Yes. Yes, we're going to be seeing dining kitchen here. Uh, let's see if I do the extension into security. We might not see that, though. Rooney going to be getting played. I think this is an excellent pick for the site. And I just I think that we might be able to see some success here, finally, from LSUS. I did not mean to say finally. I am so sorry. <laughs> Alrighty, smoke. We're, we're gonna be having a bathroom extension instead. I really like this play here. Pulse, not sure where the pulse is gonna be playing at in specific here. Matt gonna be on the nomad, taking it taking a step back from the hard breach position, which I think he should have been doing the whole time, if you're asking me. Mac is such an excellent player, just able to, to, to really to really take information in and use it to his advantage. And I think that I think that's gonna be really paying off here with the nomad pick. Yeah, and I fully agree. The way that Matt collects information before yes. the game, he sits in spawn almost, <laughs> droning out, figuring yes. out everything before he even takes a step yes. in real life. And it's awesome yes. to see. Never touched grass before, actually. Learn the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're having a big tower push here from the USM squad. We got four players sitting outside of yeah. the big tower's window. We might be seeing a rush here, actually, from USMR6. And it might pay off as long as Nick takes out these cap can traps. We know that they have been so, so oh, embarrassing. I know there's a guy right there on the very corner. Oh, you already know. You already know Mac made the call. Oh, they're gonna go oh ahead and figure it out. Mac gonna be taken down by the pulse, but down to one HP. Bozik gonna be going to go for the refrag here. Not gonna be able to land it though. However, it is gonna see that it is gonna look like Nomad was able to place at least one air jab, which is really good. I don't see the smoke peaking here anymore, the pulse peaking here anymore, I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh, taking a shot. Oh, oh, nice shot. Way to cancel out the C4 there by Mozik. Absolutely amazing gunplay there. Going to be burning the Arena Gate with a drone. The optimal way to play that. Just going to be holding it in. Drummond going to be outside the window still. Looking to try to get active, it seems like. Just not sure exactly how he's going to get that started. Mozik with the slow peek around the corner. Sees one laying down. Oh, what an extra shot. Nick going to be taking down one as well. Oh, the, the, no, not the trap. No. Oh, Mozik going to be taken down by the trap. We're going to bring one with him. We got a 2v1 scenario here for the cap can. Nick gonna be at low HP, gonna be taking a push around. They have the VP. Oh, oh, drumming gonna be taking him out of it. I'll, I'll handle it, don't worry. I'll do it myself. Yeah, <laughs> go get some medical attention. I've got this one. Yes. Just walks in, takes him out. Absolutely. That was an excellent play. Nice. Despite the early pick of yes. Mac. Absolutely amazing play there by the USMR6 squad. And it's because Mac didn't sit him spawn for a little while. That's the problem. <laughs>
And the way they just clamped their jaws yes. down, it, it was so quiet. And then in a moment, three kills were picked up yeah. instantaneously. Absolutely. And Moza good in that injury fragger position is just so impactful. We're going to be seeing a switch here from attack to defense, though. Uh, we're going to be seeing a little bit of a different setup from the LSUS squad. And the Frost coming out. The Frost coming out, you know. Is Mac playing Frost? No, he's not. <laughs> Mozik's going to be playing Frost. If you remember last uh, last game, Mac got picked off by Frost, and it was kind of embarrassing. Oh. Just, just a little embarrassing. Just a little bit. It's okay, though. We still love him, Mac. All right, we're going to be seeing an upstairs hold here. Nick going to be playing now. The He's very good in this role. I just feel like the high fire rate weapon with a 1.5 scope is just very, very catering to his play style. You know what I mean? Nick yeah. Is very, Nick, Nick enjoys getting in people's faces and landing his shots. And I think that this really just... What's the word I'm looking for, John? Uh, Help me out, man. <laughs> He likes helping out. Okay, sure, he yeah, likes, we'll go with that. He likes, he likes <laughs> assisting. Okay, yeah, we'll go with that. Be the seconds. knowledge giver. <laughs> <laughs> I like what they did there with the uh, Rooney Gate uh, yes. on a soft wall with a small uh, the head outcrop. Holes. Yeah, yes. a small hole there. Uh, Alibi's pistol, the uh, the 410 pistol, super unique yes. Uh, yes. and really helpful. Uh, letting her have a, a good gun in the primary and a pistol Lucky. secondary. Also, the fist. <laughs> the, f <laughs> the fist of death, some might call it. We're going to be seeing Reza play downstairs in security. This is such a strong spot from him. He's very good at controlling that area of the map and not allowing the enemy team to get in and take that map control. Bozik going to be playing the Frost. This is a little bit of a different pick for him. Normally, we're used to seeing him on some type of frag, some type of fragging op. However, this is a great, I think this is going to be a Great and excellent pick for him. Plot, uh, fake Plot Nick going to be holding the meeting area. Uh, Ace is already going to be inside Big Tower. Going to be trying to get the wall down and ready to. Claymore's going down there, drumming on the small tower. Drumming with 10 kills this match. Absolutely insane. He yeah, is this just, is a huge game for Drummond. This is a huge game for Drummond here. Playing the Jaeger. Uh, I think we just heard a call. They know that there's one big tower. Uh, I don't really know how they're going to capitalize on this, considering they have no way to burn the Mute Jammers. The Twitch really can't get active here because of the Mute Jammer itself. So Reza playing that Mute and just picking up that position is very good for them. Just looking around. I am so It's so tense. Scared. I am this scared. is one of the more quiet attacking rounds yes. we've seen. Seeing the LSU offense versus the USM offense, you can tell they're a lot more passive, yes. a lot more methodical in their approach. Oh, might Mac oh. might be getting headshot. No, going to be able to get away very quickly. Going to hop on the cams, just try to get information. There's going to be four outside big tower, I mean, outside big window. I'm not sure exactly how LSU are going to play this. It's not looking like we have anybody coming main side. It's a little bit at a disadvantage here, even though he's got the Mark 14. Mosey going to be getting an oh, excellent nice kill onto the ace. I think he had a nice little flank there on Big Tower's side. The Rooney Gate going to be coming back up. Reza going to be taking the shot onto that. Oh, okay. I thought somebody oh. just jumped in. I was like, that is crazy that you're jumping in like that. Trying Reza, to Matt going to be getting a headshot. Oh, they have Diffuser down, Big Tower. This is such a throw by LSU right here. You cannot have Diffuser down while four of your players on the opposite side of the map. That is not the way that you play the game, okay? <laughs> And this diffuser Nick seems to mean a lot to you right here. Nick <laughs> just going to be taking a huge swing on the big window. He knows that his team is not going to lose this round unless there's an epic throw. Just going to be trying to get some frags here to try to save that negative KD he's got going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's not negative at all. I lied to you guys. It's 7 and 4. <laughs> Excellent shot there from Nick on the bathroom hallway. He, I think he heard you. He definitely did. Might be seeing some shots here on the... Oh, oh that bed frame definitely got it good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what, oh. <laughs> what a peek there if you would have just took right a shot. Him, but just didn't quite have the reaction. Gonna be getting ready. close. Oh, the oh. Finca. Not gonna be taken oh. down. Oh, there goes Fake Pot. Nick Drummond gonna be taking down one on the opposite side of the map. 4v1 scenario, seven seconds left. It might be worth just taking oh, down. Nick gonna be taking flat. down another one. Taking it personal. He did take that personal. I am so sorry, Nick. We're gonna be seeing a 7 0 from USM Esports. And that was an incredible round yes, there. Incredible. I mean, like it said, flawless in almost every aspect. It got a little close at times, but yes, USM pulled through. Pretty much without a hitch. Well, there was that third round. There was I'm sure. yes, the smoke yes. round was almost disaster. Yes, however, uh, but it was already 3-0 at that point. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I believe so. It was. Um, Drummond gonna be picking up 11 and two. Yes. 11 kills. 11 kills. Uh, okay, first round. Yes. Absolutely insane. Place Definitely there. came out uh, ready to play, All and right. that was really good by was, him. I think that was a really good match that we saw there from. And so that. They're going to be, I think they I believe they take a five minute break between rounds. Uh, uh, yes. And Please. so, of all the things you saw, you know, what do you think LSU's got to do to try to prevent this USM onslaught? I just think that it's going to be a lot more 
adapting to their pushes. I don't think that I don't think that LSU LS is used to the the kind of attack that USM is bringing right now. It's very much methodical yet rushy kind of attack. If you know yeah. what I mean. Uh, they're just they're taking the map control. We're not seeing enough roamers. In all honesty, I feel like if we just had more people able to get the refrags, able to be in the positions that are needed, then we might be seeing a little bit of a better play here from LSU S. And it seems like as they play, uh, rather than going for these refrags, like you're saying, they're they're kind of crumbling. Like yes. where one falls, there's no one to yes. secure something out of it. Like yes. USM takes and takes and takes, and all LSU can do is give and give. Yeah. Uh, no one Absolutely. is. No one seems to be in the area to get a refrag, like you said. Yes. Uh, when they take a room or when they set up over a hatch, there's no one there to really stop them. Once the man falls, they're just like, okay, well, it's lost. Just yeah. you know, set up in a new spot. And, and what I'm seeing a lot of from LSUS is they're just they're just retreating back to their site. They're, they're they're just giving the complete map over to USM for free range. USM can do any type of rotations, any type of holes, any type of plans, any type of strategies that they really want to without a hitch, like you said earlier. And and that's just I, I just don't see a good defense coming out from LSUS right now yeah it seems they just aren't quite able to put it together uh, we have only seen one round of attack of yeah. defense from USM but even then we saw a very dominant performance absolutely uh, LSU just not able to, their offense was perhaps misguided and maybe yes. the, a missed call of the defuser there yeah. needing to go with the four man up top yes. rather than the one on the stairs absolutely uh, and looks like maybe not a five minute break looks like they're going right back okay. in I think we're going right back into our chalet game looks uh, like they're ready to end this off they, they are ready for the little quick 2-0 uh, hopefully hayden gets back here soon and we'll change that over <laughs> the, um should I, should I let him know? I should probably let him know. Huh? Uh, yes. Well, as soon as he walks back over, we'll let him know right. uh, that he needs to change up the... Uh... Well, we'll give you guys a little play-by-play -play while we're sitting here waiting on that. Oh, actually, something may have happened here. Got to pause timer. Okay, got a call out from J-Mac himself. Oh. They are not ready to start oh, the game Mac yet. Oh, Mac is not ready to start. They're not ready to okay, start so the they're going to go ahead and back out. Looks like we're going to be getting a little bit of a reset here. We get to talk a little bit more, John. This is going to be fun. Yes, let's go. Yeah, let's go. So, yeah, like we were saying before it started up here, uh, yeah, just the lack of offense. Yes. Uh, yes. And while they have good ideas, it's just not being executed correctly. they got to play more like a team. Yes. Uh, and understanding, you know, you know, like USM, when one member falls, there's usually a member shortly behind or at a, yes. a very good angle uh, to pick up the kill. Absolutely. And you saw that from, from a lot of the USM uh, attacking rounds. It was a lot of, oh, Nick died. Sorry to call you out, Nick. I just remember that so specifically. It's like, oh, Nick died, but Drummond's right there. And it was just that fast. That fast. You yeah. get an instant refrag. And, and it just doesn't seem like LSU know how to really play like that. They don't, they don't understand. I'm not going to say they don't understand. I'm sure they're a very competent team. Sorry. I'm sure you guys are ah. a very competent team. <laughs> but I just think that there, there can be better play styles utilized. And I also believe that USM is using their utility way better. Very well. Um, their information, their droning phases, yes. uh, their use of breachers, Absolutely. information gatherers has just been excellent this game, almost to perfection. Yes. Uh, e even on their one attack, we saw uh, when they were ready to bite down, they did, and they quickly finished them off. Absolutely. Uh, they would take out one, and once they exposed the weakness, when there was no refrag, they were like, okay. They're, we're in position now, let's yeah. do this, and Absolutely. do what they did. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and start it. So it looks like there was a mistake, but it looks like USM's just going to go ahead and go through with it. They are ready to go. Well, we got uh, USM going to be banning the floors again. LSUS on another Thatcher ban. We might be seeing another mirror ban. There it is. Absolutely. And we're going to see a Valkyrie ban here from USM. Actually, on Chalet, maybe not. We'll, we'll just take a little look, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be another it's Valkyrie. It's going to call the Valkyrie. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Got to go with the Valkyrie, 100% still. What can I say? I know my team. <laughs> hey, he does know his team. He knows the meta. I do. Yes. And good old Chalet. Uh, it's, this is not my favorite map, but it's not my least favorite map either. Uh, I will say it's we, pretty good. we have USM starting off on the defense this time okay. around. Okay. So we're going to see, we're going to really get a feel for LSUS's attack. And I'm yes. very excited to see what they bring to the table. Very, very excited. Matt, going to be playing that hard support role on the Kaid. Uh, I just, I, I mean, this is a great setup here by USM Esports. And when it comes to Kaid versus Blitz, uh, you know, it Bandit. makes it. Oh, Bandit. Blitz. <laughs> I can't believe I said that, and you caught me perfectly. Thank you. Uh, Bandit. 
Uh, you know, is there even a point in using Bandit when Kaid is there and can re and can electrify these hatches and walls with, with ease rather than the Bandit battery? With the new EMP grenade changes, I think that Kaid is a better pick overall. And I think the running of the Bandit last game from LSUS was a little bit of a misplay. Especially since they weren't reinforcing hatches anyway, so what was the, really, what was the Bandit really getting used for in the first place? You know what I'm saying? True. But we're on a different map, new map, different different team. Let's uh, hope that we see a little bit better play style here on both sides. Yes. Well, maybe we won't be seeing another 4v1 uh, throw. Okay. It looks like Mac not taking the, uh, the four, isn't it like the 44 with the scope on it? <laughs> yeah. It looks like he's not going to go with the sniper pistol here. Gonna oh, be using the revolver to open up that holes. I mean, that's an excellent play there. Mozik not gonna be able to get to every everything he needs to get to to make the holes with the shotgun. Wouldn't want him to waste all that ammo anyway. <laughs> We're seeing a very, very, very straightforward setup here on the bedroom side of Chalet. And I think that I think LSUS is gonna have a little bit of a struggle here, especially since we have two people playing library side. We have a guy playing top catwalk, might see a pick here on ego. Big Plat Nick might be starting it off very strong here on a kill. He just got pinged by the alibi. He got jumped a little bit. Yeah, it's backing up. Nick in a very strong position here. I really like this play. Oh, he saw the head. Oh, we might be seeing a nice shot here by Nick. Oh, oh. Nick with an excellent, beautiful shot on the sandwich window. Oh, on another boy, Nick. Can't another be shot, stopped. Nick. He is a menace on the Malusi MP5. Knows that there's another one there. Gonna be going for the oh, pistol one time. Gonna be trying oh. to get a little freaky with him. Not gonna be taking it anyway. Nick, an excellent player, an excellent, an excellent uh, fragger in his own right, and I just think that comes a lot from the solo queue. And pre-firing the wall, he's <laughs> looking for the <laughs> pistol wants kill. It. He wants it really bad. Reza going to be getting drawn down on the top of catwalk. Uh, not seeming like Nick knows exactly where these other players are, but using a lot of audio here, Reza going to be holding the top catwalk, and we're just seeing a very dominant performance again by USM Esports. I just think they have a very solid setup. Going to be seeing a flash getting tossed in. Yeah, those first two picks by oh, Big Flat. Oh, and Reza, Reza going on the K9 window. Those first two seem to have kind of stalled their entire offense. Reza doing be some good damage pick. to Royal Ross. Oh, Nick going to be taken out by the buck. Reza just holding a very passive angle here. Going to be taking a little peek, a little pre-fire. Reza might be able to win this gunfight. If he doesn't, though, it's going to be looking very bad for USM. Oh. Ooh, missing the shots just barely. Buck going to be taking a little bit of damage. Pretty well. Oh, there goes Mac. 4v1 knows where the last one is. Reza going to be missing the shot. Not missing oh. that one, though. Excellent shot there from... Reza. And that was looked like one shot straight to the head there <laughs> to finish him off. Oh, <laughs> just excellent a short shot. little burst there. He knew it's all it took. Mac with an excellent kill there as and well. That was a good kill by Mac, holding the point. Uh, I think I might have set Nick off a little bit. I, I think so. I think so. That he picked just, up those first two and just uh, a little bit. Ever since that comment, he has been dropping kills galore. Just never, can never seem to stop. I, he's just the best player I know. What can I say? I love Reza to death. He's just the best player I know. Very exactly. true, <laughs> and we'll be setting up for the prep phase again. That was a dominant defensive round there. Dominant. Looks like we're gonna be on the bar pool table room. Uh, this site is not very commonly played, especially in uh, the lower ranks. However, I know that the USM squad are not in the lower ranks, and they will have an excellent setup for this match. <laughs> yes. Uh, but it looks like we're gonna be having the same kind of setup here. Uh, Reza back on the alibi. Mac gonna be switching off the Kaid and gonna be switching to the Aruni though. Aruni, an excellent pick for this side. Drummond gonna be on the mute. Mozik gonna be on the smoke. Both bringing the shotgun with the SMG 11. Gonna be seeing lots of head holes here, lots of foot holes. Uh, Nick gonna be switching over to the Jaeger. Uh, don't know why you would switch him off the Malusi. I'm sure their strat has a reason for it, but yeah. the Malusi was just dominant in that last round. That was very, very dominant. I mean, he spared, he spared nothing from killing those two very quickly. Absolutely, absolutely. On pretty much opposite ends of the map, too. Yep. And it looks like we're going to be seeing a little bit of a different setup here from LSUS as well. We're going to be seeing, oh, a spawn peek by Fake Pie. Nick, he's really oh. filling himself under that double kill. Never mind, going to be backing off. <laughs> Probably for the best there. It looked like he saw one, mate. I'm not sure if he got the glimpse of one there. Drummond seems like he's going to be taking a very nice kitchen hold. I think it's an excellent spot to play, especially on this side. Hatch, as you can see, the hatch is getting popped there. It's because Vertis, Vertis, vertical play on this map is very, very important, especially on this site in specific. Big Fly Nick going to be taking out the Capital. 100 round Shoot bag versus 26, but Nick just with the better shots. Twitch gonna be trying to get a shot drawn on him. Might be seeing another pick here. We got four players sitting on the sitting on the uh, K9 windows. Nick might be taking out all four here. I could see him with a nice little ace this round. 
Doesn't seem like he's calling out for his team to come help him. I don't think he knows how many he's out there on the balcony waiting for him. <laughs> one gonna be playing close. He sees the other. Nick is looking down the face of the storm here. He saw one. Oh, oh. another great shot by Nick. Another double kill in the round. Oh. Ace gonna be playing on the doorway though. Didn't nice quite kill. get the reload through by the time he made it back to the door. It's okay though. Oh. Drumming gonna be trying to play for the C4 below. Probably has the camera up in main lobby. He's just gonna wait for the call that they jump in. Nick not gonna be on the cam though. Not sure if he heard the call from Drummond to let him know when. Reza gonna be playing on the top catwalk again. This is such a dominant position here from Reza. He's just he's able to pick the shots. He's able to to really play for the for play for the squad here. Bozik might be looking for a little bit of a cheeky, cheeky little angle. It went dead silent in the arena. It did. It did. The concentration is just peak. Yes, it has. Ace gonna be opening up the main walls now. The fact that it's a minute 14 left in this round and LSUS is just now getting the little bit of map control that they need is very, very apparent of how strong of a hold LSU has. Twitch might not be liking what the angle she's about to get held by. I think. Oh, going for it. Oh, Ooh, passes Reza just by. barely messing the shot. Twitch oh. gonna be seeing it again. Gotta watch the head holes. Mozik gonna be pushing up though. Oh, Mozik oh. with an excellent shot on the Twitch on the top of blue stairs. And Mozik covering his teammates back. Again, just playing off the refrag potential. It's very, very influential still using these shield windows absolutely and they have really been making the most out of this absolutely they know those trying to pre fire a little bit we got a we got a we got a live ping oh reza with oh. an excellent shot on the guy on k9 reza knows where the last guy is might be just backing off here maybe going for the frag though He's gonna be playing at the piano side most probably gonna be taking the one-on-one -on -one gunfight here Oh, Reza just barely missing the shot. Knows he's there. Ace, you should not be challenging this. Gonna be running out the door. Reza with an excellent flick. Gonna be missing though. Oh, oh, excellent shot there from the Ace. Gonna be pushing in, but Mozik gonna be there to finish him off. Never mind. Oh. Taking out Mozik. It's a 2v1. Oh, and excellent shot from Drummond in the main lobby. <laughs> uh, I thought we were gonna see another little little mess up there by yeah, USMR6. That was really close. He was feeling himself. You could tell the way he ran in. Yes. Uh, and USM pulls through. A little bit of a sweater uh, there. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of a sweater. And definitely timed them out a good bit there. Kind of forced the action. Yes. Uh, Reza holding him outside. For, only when Reza died was he even able to enter yes. the house or the chalet, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, K9 window, as they call it. I know that the USM squad calls it ego. I, uh. I don't know why. It's, <laughs> so maybe I'll say that. Maybe they'll know what I'm talking about a little better. We're not going to be seeing a downstairs hold. We're going to be seeing a kitchen hold. Uh, obviously, we had that extension in the kitchen in the last round, so we know that the USM squad can hold this site because they held it even when it wasn't the site in the first place. So I'm very excited to see how this team composition is going to work for them, especially with Mozik going to be playing on the Warden, probably taking the shotgun if I'm not I, mistaken. Me personally, I really love Warden. Okay. Uh, he's one of my favorite operators. He's not super useful, yeah. but he's really good in like a one-on-one -on -one situation. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I, I, you know, it's really unfortunate. My copy of Rainbow Six, I got before they started releasing the champs to yeah. everyone. So I have five operators on each side. So I'm building <laughs> up for 10,000 renown <laughs> so I can get Warden as my first 10K operator. Yes. Because uh, he's just really fun. He is uh, very fun player. An operator, operator I fell in love with while playing Xbox, but now I play on PC. <laughs> yep. Um, I, trust me, I understand. <laughs> found it way better. Uh, All right, Nick going to be holding the big garage area back on the Malusi. As we know, he had a very dominant performance these last two rounds, so I'm excited to see what he's going to do. Reza going to be holding upstairs in, salon, in, eh, in Master Bedroom. There it is. And uh, going to be having the extension into piano. I think we're going to see Reza and Drummond holding this entire top floor almost by themselves, and I think we're going to see a very dominant performance. Drummond oh. going to be catching one on the sandwich window. Not taking the shots just yet, but one might be rotating over. Might see the shots. Never mind, gonna be backing up a little bit. Might play a little drum work. We might have two oh. peaks at the same time. Ooh, oh, barely missing very the close. shot from Drummond. Gonna be taking a step back. Taking a step back. He's gonna be in piano holding that with Reza, just giving them that little bit of map control. It's not gonna be too influential for him. Nick, Nick knows that one might be coming big garage. The window's open. He knows that it's gonna be the buck. He's gonna be playing an excellent angle through the glass pane of these windows. Never mind, just through the windows themselves. <laughs> And we got Mozik. Not going to take any chances. Absolutely not. I don't blame him one bit. I don't think we're going to see Nick get picked off here. Oh. And Nick with an excellent shot onto the bug. Should have been using Flash Hider. Maybe Nick wouldn't have saw it. Nick, are we just trying to, trying to take the downstairs area? Reza and Drummond, it seems like, still upstairs holding such a dominant position. Uh, there's just no way for the enemy team to rotate. Uh, the only way they can is with the hard breacher. And it's not seeming like they're trying to put any effort into this. They're droning now down the blue stairs. They're going to probably catch Nick here on the drone. If they do, that, I don't see Nick losing a gunfight in this <laughs> round. I'm going to be honest with you. If it's a one-on-one -on -one fight, he's not losing it. Feel, really feeling himself this game. 
Drummond with an excellent angle on the piano half wall. Here's the master bedroom door getting oh. open. Going to be seeing the head of oh. one Drummond with an excellent shot on the head of the, uh, the sledge. My bad. Now it's just going to be Nomad in the main lobby. I lied. Nomad in the blue line. Jack in the blue line. Nomad in the main lobby. And Nick just, just trying to find a pick. Just trying to find one more. It doesn't seem like they know where he's at. Nick going to be trying to rotate over to the main stairs. Just three in main lobby now. Nick might not be able to find a pick. They got really tense in here. Extremely quick. Nick with an excellent shot. Jackal doesn't seem like Jackal heard it. The suppressor coming in clutch. Yeah, Might be getting a huge flag. A huge flank. Gonna be seeing the aces, the jackal's head. Excellent pill on the jackal. Gonna be rotating back down because the nomad can, uh, has refrag potential. Doesn't look like they're gonna be using it though. Just gonna be holding the blue stairs. Expecting the rotate across. I don't see Nick losing this gunfight, but if he does, that's okay. He's taking down three with him. Two this with him. This is an insane hold right here. Oh, oh Nick with an excellent is not gonna shot. Let it go. Triple kill for Nicholas. Gonna be pushing up into the main lobby. He's taking the main stairs. everything. Gonna be oh. seeing one more. Oh, oh the and Ace almost gonna be taken out. Ace really feeling himself, but it's gonna be eight seconds left. Drummond gonna be in the main lobby. I'm not seeing the Ace win this. Might not even know Drummond's there. Drummond gonna be seeing the arm. Drummond oh. with an excellent shots. And Drummond and Nick took all the kills this round. Uh, it was Drummond with a double and Nick with a triple. triple. It seemed like they were battling yeah, at yeah. points. I'm, that was very dominant performance there by USMR6. And that I really liked Lesaw. That was insane. I really that was like such Lesa. good holds there. Absolutely. Uh, Nick was all over the downstairs wreaking havoc on them from behind. I just don't understand the Nomad's reaction time, and I don't mean to call you out, Nomad, but the guy was in your view for a good little minute. <laughs> he, he was there. Yeah, he was there for a little bit. Um, but I just, that, that split second for, for Fight Fight Nick, it's only a split second for them. It's several seconds, apparently. Uh, we're seeing a very dominant performance here by USMR6, which is kind of what we expected. However, I thought LSUS was gonna be seeing a little bit more of a fight. However, I think we might be seeing a little bit of a change up this round, considering that we're gonna see a Cali play as well as a knock. And I find it interesting, it seems like the uh, the client is bugged. It says it's a four versus five right now, but all members of USM are live. Yeah, uh, look, man, it's just a bad game. <laughs> I've been saying it. Bit of, bit of Ubisoft <laughs> action going on here. Absolutely. Hey, we're not Blizzard though. Yes. We're not Blizzard, let's go. <laughs> Overwatch 2, guys, coming out soon. Uh, make sure to check that out. We're going to be having a master bedroom hole. We'll probably be seeing the same thing we saw last time from Reza and Nick playing on the K9 area. Never mind, Nick probably going to be holding the mudroom blue bar, blue bar area. Uh, we're going to see Mag playing inside of the main master room. Yes, that's the work I'm looking for. Uh, and Mozik playing inside piano. Nick might be going for a spawn peek here, though. Looking for somebody to climb up the ladder. He knows that people are keep playing the, uh, the library balcony. We might be seeing a pick here from Fake Plot Nick right off the start of the round. Oh. Never mind, nobody gonna be coming out. I'm not taking out default cameras. Matt gonna be just scrolling through all of the cams, <laughs> looking for looking for any type of information he can find as he does. Oh, as if we didn't see the miss on the drone with the shotgun, it's okay. Mozik not letting him run. <laughs> no drone will be spared in Mozik's presence. Absolutely, Mozik gonna be playing in Solarium. Matt gonna be playing in the master bedroom. Just holding the far angle here. It looks like they have given up a little bit of map control. I'm very surprised to see this by USMR6. Uh, but I think that with two minutes left in the round, we might be seeing a better, better, better hold here. A better push from LSUS. Oh, oh. Nick, gonna miss the shots on the oh. knock. No, now it's a 4v5. It's actually a 4v5 now. <laughs> Drumming gonna be holding the piano. Mozik oh, gonna be Mose getting the refrag the shotgun though. kill. And that is gonna be the ace, the most important player on the, on the LSUS squad. Huge pick. Uh, knock also Attack took a good bit of damage in, in the engagement the with Fake Plat. The, oh no, Cali on big window. We might be seeing a little bit of trouble here from the USM, uh, USM squad. Mozik going to be on very low HP, just playing extremely egotistical on yeah. ego. That's probably why they call it that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and only with seven rounds, he only has basically two full sets of shotgun shells. Uh, it looks, it seems like his job of destroying the floors is over. So he may have, he may have enough ammo to finish this fight out. Reza is still going to be holding the, uh, the library side. We didn't see any library push here from LSU as this time. Uh, very surprising, uh, be considering how well that it paid off for him the last few times. Uh, USM just able to capitalize a little bit better. This last round, Moza going to be taken out oh. by the knock, but Reza with a quick little refrag on the Ego balcony. I'm. It's a 3v3. I... <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what to expect here. Drummond in an excellent position. I'm going to be honest with you. Drummond's in an excellent position. Reza can be taken uh, out another. Reza's just yeah. in a dominance Drummond's right now. Drummond's position may not even be touched the way Reza is. <laughs> yes. Reza going to be dropping down. <laughs> the way Reza is dropping bombs on him. Oh. 
Drummond gonna be seeing him droning in his teammate. Oh, and oh. the excellent swing. Oh, oh and using the drone bait. Gonna be in the sight, walking back out though because of the Malusi trap. Gonna be extremely weak now. I think Reza just needs to play back for the play back for the site. Mag gonna be taken down. It's gonna be a one v two for Reza. One v one for Reza. Dang, Reza, quick pick there. It's versus the Kali, so he's gonna have to be careful. Absolutely. Those armor piercing rounds. I think we just heard a call that the Kali should not have case. However, we'll have to see now. We have three seconds left. The case is gonna be all the way across the map on the Ego oh, balcony. No chance. And that's gonna be another defender round. Nice little clutch there from Reza on the excellent one tap. Reza picking up a triple kill in that yes, fight. Yes, yes. Uh, and Mac holding long enough yes, against absolutely. the Kali to live. That was a very, very good performance there by USM Esports. However, a great try from LSUS. I don't want oh, to downplay yes. them. That was absolutely, that was, that was really, much better. Almost, almost had it. Almost. If, you, uh, if Kali just had case. Yes. I'm telling you, I think the diffuser play has just been a little off today. It has. Uh, it seems like their ideas for the diffuser go wrong, and then suddenly half their team is stuck across the map, yes. and USM covers every rotation. <laughs> We've seen it happen. Yes. If, unless they walk all the way around outside the house, uh, they will not get to the diffuser. And even if they do, they'll only have maybe 30 seconds to get through all the rooms again Absolutely. and somehow plant with Drummond staring down their face. Fake flat Nick, you know, prowling alongside them. We're going to be seeing an Osa and an Amaru here from the LSUS squad. I'm very excited to see how these picks will play into the team composition that USM has been holding down. Uh, it seems like we're going to be having another blue bar and blue table yeah. hold? Yes, yes. Blue bar, pool table holds. So we're going to be seeing the same thing that we saw last time. Uh, Nick and Reza just playing up the upstairs. Drumming probably, with, I mean, Nick downstairs, Drumming going to probably be playing upstairs with Reza. And a huge shout out to our spectator tonight. He's really been putting in some good work. He has, he has. Uh, and we're really appreciative of him. Shout out. Uh, the GA's dropping in. Uh, and definitely not, definitely not probably what he was planning on doing with his Thursday <laughs> on Rainbow Six. But hey, excellent uh, game. We really appreciate you. Absolutely. So thank you for uh, thank you for helping us out, getting us some game gameplay absolutely. footage. <laughs> absolutely. And it doesn't seem like LSU is going to be taking, trying to take map control. It seems like they're just trying to do oh. like a straight up push. I know they're going to be missing oh. a few shots on a drone, but not going to miss a few shots on the heads, I'm assuming. Watch this peek. Oh, Ooh, imagine. Oh. That was really close here. I don't see Mozik losing a gunfight. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't see I don't see, I don't see Mozik, Mozik losing any type of one. So it looks like we're going to be having some people pushing the library side. Already in library, Matt going to oh. be taking a pick through the hatch. Absolutely excellent gunplay there by there's Mac. A, a second one. Oh, oh there's a second one up close. there. Going to be getting the call out, though. Might be Reza going for the kill. Nick going to be getting it instead. Absolutely excellent shot there from Nick. Reza going to be taking a little bit of damage from the guy in library. And Max so good at holding just that one Nick area. Gonna be taking the second guy down. Absolutely. Nick going to be taking the second guy down in library. Now they know exactly where the last two players are. Going to be seeing the heads. Mac may be trying to get his highlight Mosey right not losing the gunfight, oh. just like I said earlier. Going to be an excellent shot there. pre He's looking the right at him. <laughs> oh, oh Mosey could finally going to be taken down from the Finca. Going to be looking for the guy upstairs. Nick might get a little might get a little angsty here. Might get a little jump out. <laughs> not going to be looking like it, though. We actually have a diffuser pickup. Let's go. <laughs> All oh, right. you can see the head. Oh, it seems like taken is out there a shield right there? Is there, there something? Else? Else? No! Drummond gonna be taken down <laughs> by the Finca. Nick just gonna be holding the angle. Nick kinda wanted to jump out, kinda wanted to get a little crazy for the kill with the pistol. Just gonna be holding the angle. Finca in a 3v1 scenario. 55 seconds left in the round, and he has Diffuser. This is very winnable. It is very winnable if USM just continues to run out here. Absolutely. It was a five on one and yeah. has become a three on one. Absolutely. So, uh, USM doing whatever they can. Absolutely. Just kind of changing some fire here. Right, oh. so maybe going for a little bit of a quick little tap. Ooh, oh, barely missing gosh. the head there. Oh, and Reza, are nice you cheating? Thing. Are you? Do you have to? <laughs> Nick, just gonna be trying to troll a little bit with the pistol. Might get the lucky little one tap. Oh. Oh my oh, gosh, it actually <laughs> gets it with the hip fire pistol. pistol. And that's going on his highlight reel for sure. I believe production manager Hedino is going to get a word about this one. That oh was a highlight play God. for sure. Nicholas. The yeah. ranked play style really coming out in this match. <laughs> yes, fake plat Nick. 10-4. I think a I really dominant play. Yeah. Dominant player. He is really taking what you said to heart. Absolutely. Laser diff <laughs> by Reza himself. Absolutely oh, correct. Reza dropping the laser diff using the pistol. 
So we've seen a we've seen a kill on every single gun, a shotgun, pistol, SMG, and rifle. Yeah, I, uh, I just see it for you. Even Cali picked up a sniper rifle kill. <laughs> so we've actually seen a kill on every single type of weapon. And speaking of Cali, we're gonna be having Cali come back again. This time with the blitz, though, a little bit of a different pick here from LSUS. Excited to see what kind of what kind of things they can do with the blitz. And here we go, taking the blitz. This will be the first shield operator we've seen. Absolutely. And so I'm really excited to see, you know, how LSU plans to do this. And, you know, if I'm LSU, the best I can hope for uh, is just to try and find some way to pressure these USM Absolutely. players. Absolutely. Um, you know, maybe not so much as a methodical approach, but, you know, bum rushing. Honestly, bum rushing one. They're bringing, they're bringing they're heading out to the they got the, they got the Pinka, they got the Blitz, they got the Nomad oh. for the flank cover. This might be what we're seeing here. They're droning out the bottom. Nick just gonna be playing around with the drone a little bit. Missing all the shots though. Yep. Oh, and, and uh, this one might go on the highlight this. reel. We are watching you right now, Nicholas. Uh, you are oh. just missing a lot, and that's okay. Nice little 360 <laughs> there. Uh, we have two minutes and 30 seconds left, and this is the last defensive round for USM. If I think this is the last defensive round. Yes, it is. Reza gonna be playing upstairs in the master bedroom side. Mosey gonna be playing in the blue trophy area. <laughs> Nick gonna be getting head on with the blitz. Uh, might be seeing a little bit of a frag. Oh, there. he's reloading right in front of him. Oh, he's gonna no. have to run. Nick oh, gonna be seeing alive. two. There's two there. Nick knows it. Gonna be holding the angle. Nick oh. with an excellent shot. Might be catching the blitz. Oh. And the blitz is there. Nick oh. absolutely. <laughs> And Jarvan gonna be taking another oh. Nick with another kill, a triple kill for Nick on the blue stairs. There's a fourth one there, I don't think he knows. Gonna be taking shots. Might be getting a little quick here. No, he's laying oh. down. Oh, but Nick gonna be taking down. And Nick running for his life here. He Absolutely. doesn't wanna die like this. It's not like this. Missing the shots on the <laughs> down player, it's okay. And the Make way that happen. the blitz flew down the steps, it, <laughs> uh, something definitely happened. <laughs> Drummond just gonna be trying to go for this refrag here. Gonna be pushing up the main stairs. Never mind, we're rotating back around. Uh, no, I, I lied again. He's gonna be going back. It looks like we're having a little bit of a differential. Uh, he's gonna be taking a little bit of help. Mosey gonna be taking a little bit of help as well. Going for the pistol oh. one taps. I think we're just seeing a lot of toxicity right now from the USM squad. Oh, Drummond, Drummond gonna be downstairs on a nice little flank. Oh, he said toxic. Oh. Uh, listening in on the stream, I see. And the nace. Uh, oh, what a shot through the wall by Drummond. Yeah, the Nace, Nace guys might be starting to take a look. Well, I hear the coach, hear the coach calling. No more toxicity. Oh, no. Not toxic, it's domination. It, it is definitely <laughs> domination. This is actually more of a domination than our first our first uh, game last week. Amen. Uh, at, least, at least last week we had a round get taken. From yeah, the yeah. This is this is a really unfortunate showing here, and we just know that on the attack, USM is just going to push forward, and it's going to be a dominant round. And I, just, and I just, I don't, I don't know. I think LSUS just needs to put a little bit more time into playing for the refrags, trying to figure out the map, how their composition wants to look. I think USM just has more of a structure. I do think so, and you know, USM is like, you know, a considered number one seed. They are the national champions for a reason. Um, My and I think this is just a, a showing of who they are. Absolutely. Uh, this is an incredible, incredible showing from them. Uh, and really, I mean, just telling the people who are viewing, we are the national champs. We have high expectations, know. and we are going to demonstrate demonstrate why we are where we are. Absolutely. Um, and when you're at the top, you know, sometimes there is some room to speak, to, Absolutely. you know, to be a little BM. Absolutely. Uh, now, Maybe shouldn't do it all the time, but <laughs> you know you do have the right. Yeah, it absolutely. is my belief if you are at the very top, or if you are in the winning position, then you maybe have the right. Bit, maybe a little bit. Uh, we're gonna be seeing a nice little attack here onto the top four stairs. Uh, LSUS is gonna be bringing the Aruni Jaeger, Thorn, Doc, and Capcan. Nick just trying to go for a little quick little one. Nick with a very dominant performance, oh, he would have almost. kept firing just a little bit more. Right? Oh, oh, Nick gonna be taking down from the Jaeger on top of main stairs. There's not a drone there in time. Moe's gonna be trying to go for the frag grenade. Taking out his teammates drone anyway. <laughs> I think we're seeing I think we're seeing USM get a little bit of lackluster. We might see around here from LSU. Mozik and Reza are gonna be pushing in together. As you know, the dominant squad together uh, really do when they push, you just know Mozik gonna be taking a lot of a substantial amount of health from the Capcan traps. It's gonna be looking for him this time around. USM has had trouble with these Capcan traps throughout really the game. Have. They really have. They would have more trouble with the Valkyrie, but Capcan's been giving him a little bit of work. Drummond gonna be on Ego. Might be trying to do a little something crazy here. Doc gonna be downstairs playing in the blue, blue playing bottom blue stairs. Mozik gonna be pushing in. Reza. 
Reza is such a dominant player. How are we just seeing so much more from Nick tonight? Uh, Nick is the newest player to the USM squad. Everybody else that you see is ex-national champions. Nick coming into that dynasty with them uh, and just showing why he deserves to be here. Yes, and he is really definitely, uh, without a doubt, shown Drew. Drumming going to be taking down the Thorn. Matt going to be opening the main wall. Drumming going to be taking a little bit of damage there. They're going to be playing on the rotate hole. I don't think Drumming knows. Oh, 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 a team kill. And Drumming going to be taking down the Captain America. And that is so unfortunate. They were holding the same angle and it, everything fell apart for them right there. We might be seeing another frag here from Drummond. Oh, Drummond going to be missing the shots. going to be a 2v2. Reza. Reza going to be playing Yeager. on Ego. Almost Mosek. Like no health here. We're going to be seeing the top two players on the squad together again. I don't see them losing this, but maybe we'll see a dominant performance here by the Jaeger. He has the position. USM has to go to him. Absolutely. They do have a full health Reza and a half health Mosek. Yes. And we know the cap can traps. They might give a little bit of danger, but it seems like they're going to be having the call out there. Sees the guy on big window. Guys are going to be taking out the barbed wire. Going to be getting a nice little push in. Holding the piano stairs. We just don't need anybody to die from that. Oh. Reza going to be taking a second. Oh. with the excellent Mosek shot through the rotate hole. And that's going to be a 7-0. 7-0 for USMR6. Absolutely dominant performance. And a full sweep. 7-0, 7-0. Yes. 14 consecutive wins. Yes. And it is... What more can you say? A 13-6 performance. Resident Drummond dropping seven. Mac, the information gatherer, 2-2. Two, two. Every single member of USM was positive or equal in their KDs. And, just, and I mean, I, just incredible. That was just excellent gameplay. That was just excellent gameplay. Um, you know, you have to be happy if you're USM. And absolutely. if you're LSU, uh, you know, I would hope that you your patience going into this match. Wow knowing that you're going against the national champions who are maintaining four players. Yes. Uh, and with fake plot Nick, who's already uh, more than proven yes. himself yes. to Absolutely. be a very valuable member of this national championship Absolutely. team. You just have to be really happy. Yes. Uh, and you have to understand that, you know, your time will come. If you're yeah. LSU Shreveport, you just have to keep practicing. Absolutely. Continue building your talent pool. Uh, and, you know, good things don't last forever. Amen. Uh, I agree. You know, the sad reality of USM is one day some of these players will be graduated. Yes. Uh, we have to enjoy the dominant performances we get right now. Mm -hmm. So LSU Shreveport, I, we hope that you can understand why we have to celebrate. <laughs> why we Just celebrate these dominant performances and bit. why sometimes you have to speak a little bit. Absolutely. Uh, I just think that from LSU, uh, we just we just need to see more and more playing together, playing around each other, playing around the diffuser, especially objective play is so important, especially in this higher level play. Uh, you, just have to, you just have to know when to get the bomb down, when to hold the angles, when, when to peak with a, with, a, with, a, with a partner. And I just think we saw a better performance of those techniques from USM. Yes, and USM going up 2-0 on the season here. Um, I think they've only lost a combined two or three rounds. Oh, one round, never lost mind. One round. One round. And it was because of a team kill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so. so that's, you know, over 30 wins pretty much in straight. Yes. And that is just amazing. Uh, you, you really can't say much more. Even uh, last week, uh, there was a loss to talk about. But this week, what do you do? You just tell your players, hey, great see job. You, see you next week, <laughs> you know? Great, great job, job, guys. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll hit it again next week. And good job. I, everything went right. Uh, there was nothing that happened yeah. uh, that didn't go in favor of USM at the end. Absolutely. Everything was part of the plan for them, and they controlled the pace of the game, Absolutely. the kills. They controlled every angle the entire time. And the, the tempo that, that USM set, even from the first round, it, it just continued forward, and there was never any, any questioning who was going to win a round, honestly. Yeah. I mean, even though they did have... Let's talk about the, the downstairs organ against the smoke, the 4v1. That was a little embarrassing, I'm going to be honest. Yes. It was a little embarrassing. We should never be throwing bodies, especially at a smoke like that. Reza just missing shots. <laughs> Don't see that very often from him, but those shots were just so influential. We got lucky that the, the time is so low on the diffuser, uh, and the diffuse time is so high. I just think that we might have seen, actually, USM get at least one round taken from him. Yes, that was probably the closest it ever got yeah, it uh, to USM falling, and even then it seemed that the last remaining member knew what had to be done after the bodies were lost, after his, after his man advantage was gone. 
to hold the point as long as he possibly yep. could, yep. to buy as much time to prevent the, the defuse from happening. And if you remember, we actually saw that there was a lack of information in that round, especially at the very end, because Drummond was still aiming at the rotate hole instead of the smoke on the main stairs. We, we should have a drone there. You should have a drone somewhere in that area just watching for that, that, that little push. Yeah, and it seemed like after that, they kind of fixed up their communication. We heard, we heard them speaking throughout the entire game constantly calling rotations, yes. calling spots on the map, saying what they were doing. It is so vital in Rainbow Six to communicate what's happening, to understand the Absolutely. refrags, where you need Absolutely. to be, uh, how to protect your team, and in turn, how your team protects you. Absolutely. And, you know, everything, everything went perfect pretty much after that one round. Yeah. Um, so if you have any final thoughts, I think we're about finished up here. I think that we are about to get into a post-game interview from the man himself, Reza, the man who doesn't miss oh, any shots yes. unless it's on a smoke on elbow. <laughs> yes. The uh, man, right. the myth, the legend. Yes. Reza right, well, is incoming. It was excellent casting yes. with you, John. Thank you for, for carrying me through this. No. Uh, I may not be the phobia, John. I am instead just Jonos. Yes. Uh, but next week, guys, we're hoping to get John back on to the casting. Uh, the dynamic duo is real with these two, uh, and I will be back to running the spectator modes, trying to catch as much action as I can Absolutely. so you guys can have as much content to talk about. But, guys, thank you for coming out. We'll be going to a post-game interview here very shortly. Thank you to USM Aaron. Thank you to our production staff. Uh, we'll, we'll hit y'all guys uh, again in just a few minutes. We'll be seeing you. We'll be seeing you at the interview. All right, guys, I am back, and I'm here with the man, Reza.TTV. Thank you. Uh, here, dropping a seven bomb in the, in the second round. Uh, I forgot the stats of the first round. It just comes and goes. You yeah. Know. Um, dominant performance, though. It cannot be understated how dominant that performance was. A 14-win a straight uh, series yeah. complete. Sweep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I had low kills compared to last week. I kind of like put on the support shoes for a little bit. They weren't walking at me because they didn't make it past Nick, and Nick just had a heyday, so he had a good game today. Yeah, and, and what do you guys do You know, when, when Nick catches fire like that, when you're the general kind of fragger on the team, when Nick is just hitting every single shot, do you guys just quickly adjust the play style? Say I'm gonna t I'm gonna step back, Nick. You go get your you go get your bag, and I'm gonna hang back and I'll cover <laughs> you. You know? Yeah, honestly, actually, that's kind of exactly what happened. So. Uh, there's, in pro league, basically, the guy that plays support can sometimes play entry depending on who's shooting that day. So that's kind of how it was with Nick. I mean, the first round on attack, obviously, I'm playing my role perfect, but there's just moments where Nick is finding an opportunity to make a play. And especially on the chalet game, they were just kind of letting Nick do whatever Nick wanted to do. And, like, you can't let Nick do that because he gets into a ranked all-star, and if you let him do it, he's going to do it. So about four rounds in, I was like, if they're going to let you roam like that, just do it. Like, take abuse of it. So Yeah, and he sure did. He most definitely did. really happy. 
you know, he is the newcomer to this team. Uh, and the way he's melded and blended in with you guys, yeah. you just, I mean, it could not have possibly been better. It seems like you guys are already in full form uh, with your chemistry, your communication. There were a few rounds where it was a little, where it was a little, you know, close. Uh, yeah. The smoke four v one, and a couple of other times where some was picked off, and it got, you know, down to two v twos, a little more. And in normal Rainbow Six, that's not really a big deal. Right. 2v2, but in competitive play, two v two is that means a lot of yeah, things. Yeah, I mean, have gone it, it could go any way. Yeah, exactly. Um, um, but you have to be really happy, you know. Yeah. How, how has it been so easy for Nick to just blend in with this national championship? veterans i would say nick is just naturally like he's got the mechanics to play the game um nick is definitely like knows his way around the keyboard and the mouse like he knows what he's doing um the number one thing that we're having to work on with nick is he's always played ranked by himself so like trying to mix into a competitive team is a lot different for a player that's played like that um that's kind of why we lose not because of nick but a lot of those rounds where it comes down close it's because like we just kind of start tossing like it's like a 1v4 everyone wants to kill because yeah. we're just frying so everyone wants to stat the pats you know pat the stats yeah and uh course. So rounds like that, we're definitely kind of tossing. A, a biggest thing that we've had to work on with Nick is he fits into any role. Like, if I tell him I need him to play something, he's going to play it, which is great. That's the best thing I could ask for. Um, he's very fast, very fast-paced, which is like my play style. Yeah. But when I came here, I had to learn how to play slow, and that's Nick's yeah. thing right now. Nick's got to slow down, but once Nick slows down and actually does, like, all the, the fundamentals, it, he fits in perfect. So It seemed to work out really well tonight, the way he was playing fast and you guys were playing methodical. It seemed to work out, especially on defense, uh, where he was able to kind of, uh, the round I'm thinking of is his triple kill when he was on Garage, holding Garage, picks up the double kill, comes back up the stairs, takes another one, almost gets a 4K before yeah. getting taken out. Just running around while you guys are all holding your angles, preventing any rotations, forcing them to act on Nick. And all the while, the timer is ticking down. Yeah. You are in bout, you're now in position. Drummond is now in position. There's nothing they can do. Nothing. We so, just have to be happy about it. Yeah, you know? exactly in that kind of scenario. is That's what Nick is there for. Sometimes it'll be Nick. Sometimes it'll be maybe Mike or somebody like that. But that player is there specifically for them to waste all their energy and resources to kill that person. So, like, if he's there for 15 seconds or whatever, he's still doing his job. So for him to actually live there, come back up, that's mainly what you would do against it. Like, a team that we know is, like, competing against us is we would come – back like Nick would get like one or two and just come back but Nick was feeling it so Nick yeah. just kept going so and everything worked you know was there anything in the game that you guys besides your you know pacing that you think will be improved on when you sweep a team it's kind of hard to find things to improve on uh, when it seemed like everything went right yeah that's definitely what our scrims and everything are there for in case we have a game like this like not to bash anybody like we kind of knew like maybe this would be the result. We've been playing a lot. I think they're a very new team. I don't think they've been playing very long. So, I mean, it's not really a fair comparison. Um, so, I'd, I'd say things that we definitely need to improve on are, like, our roam clears are very slow. Like, even the times that they had a roam clear, they got a pick off of us, and we just rotated because we knew we could, and that maybe they wouldn't rotate. But a good team will, like, really do that. An experienced team, I should say. Um, so, our roam clears are definitely bad, and obviously our pacing, like I said, we, we get really fast and, does, like, don't realize that we can slow down. So, we have to slow down. We have to roam clear well, and I think our defenses are looking really good. So Yes, defense was on point tonight. Attack is always the hardest part of the game, though. So Yes. Um, uh, but even on the, the first round, I would notice, you know, you guys kind of get one pick, and then I, I would feel the pace kick up. You guys would pick up three instantaneously, and then the last guy would fall to any one of the players hunting him down. Yeah, um, and that's always team dependent. Like, we could, depending on who who we kill or, you know, whatever, sometimes maybe we get that kill and then fall off. Or if we know there's two there, maybe the, the timing there is to you have to be aggressive. So it's all very situational, but a lot of times you'll usually see – in this skill level and higher, it's usually you get one and then you fall. But, I mean, Nick was just ready to go today, so. Yeah. <laughs> the national team, uh, national champions, showing out once again. Uh, you guys have only lost one round so far in your season. Yeah. Uh, up 2-0. Uh, you know, you can't always stay at the top, but, you. I mean, how do you feel about such a dominant start? Um, I feel satisfied, but not like – very up there, right? I mean, we kind of expected these two teams that we should win. Not because of the teams, but because of us. We should come out strong. We usually come out strong every season. Um, we know that the burners will be towards the end of the season. We know a couple of the teams that we're going to play. Um, North Dakota and LVC. I know a couple of guys on LVC. We 
talk pretty occasionally. So those will definitely be closer barn burners for us and testers for us, but we still believe that we can take it out and win. And is, is there anything else you need to tell the viewers <laughs> as, we <laughs> as we reach the end of this stream after a almost perfect game? I wouldn't say that I have anything specific to say. I will say watch Nick. I mean, when he's yes. feeling it, he can pop off. We get him to slow down. He's a he's an excellent player. He's fitting in well, and I'm glad that he's here. Um, TTV, by the way, I don't know if you know that. It's Reza.TTV Reza on Twitch. TV. You should follow that. Out. Shout out my parents as always. And guys, uh, when I'm back on the spectator, I will definitely take that advice to heart. I'm always looking for the man, the action. But right now, I, I kind of cycle between you, Drummond, and now Nick. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna put a lot of priority into him on the cams. Uh, and just watching you guys in the spectator mode, uh, not having to talk about it is like therapeutic. Yeah, it's amazing seeing how you guys just cl clear out the entire place. People, gadgets, drones, nothing survives uh, the onslaught of USM. Yeah. That's, and that's one of my favorite parts about this team, though. Like last week it was me and Drum, and he also dropped his, at like 12, I think. And then this week it's Nick. Next week it'll probably be Mike. I mean, everyone on this team can tell you like and show you that they're going to pop off whenever they're ready. So definitely keep an eye on everybody. I mean, everybody's having a game. Uh, Josh, he had like zero going in the half because he didn't see anybody. Like there was no, yeah. he didn't even see anybody. They're yeah, there all was, yeah, there's no one to fight. There's no one to they fight. They never made it to him. Yeah. And so. there's so many layers, so many layers. There's just, there's never a hope of getting all the way to the anchors. I know. It's, it's great. But guys, uh, I believe that is going to be the end for us here. Thank you to Reza. Uh, check out his Twitch. Thank Twitch you as always. Slash Reza. Uh, that was a great game, guys. Uh, we will be back here on Monday, I believe. Okay, maybe. <laughs> if you guys, make sure you guys uh, get notifications for your Twitch, for your streams. Uh, we may be back at some random time, but be prepared for Rocket League Mondays. I'll be back with USM Zach. We're going to be having a good time uh, watching our USM Gold team play after they got streamed on Nace. But until then, this is USM Janos. I will get, see you guys later. Have a good weekend. We're out of here.